Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, we are back in Real Lucaria. I kind of have no idea what I did in the last episode. Jesus, it's been a couple of days since I've recorded. Just my evenings have been busy these last couple of days. Oh, yeah, yeah this is where the crossbow guy is. And I died to him, I think. And I ran back. He's the one that has the Avalyn equivalent. Fucking hell. Okay, I gotta stop playing with fire because I just realized I have 70k. 17k souls. Shit. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna ignore this fool. Uh, I'm gonna grab my souls and get the fuck out of here because uh yeah that's 18k and it's not impossible but kind of annoying to get back here although okay yes yeah, so i think we're gonna ignore that npc that is just insane what he's doing uh with with his weapon the fact that it's uh Stun locking volley of shots with uh well it's basically an insta kill. If I make a single mistake, uh he insta kills me. I really hope that's not where we have to move forward because it's gonna be a nightmare to deal with. Uh to me it does seem like some of the NPCs in this game do suffer from uh bloodborneism. By Bloodborneism, I mean, of course, the fact that, you know, NPCs in Bloodborne had trouble obeying the actual rules of the game and seemed to, like, sort of operate on their own volition. And this is the only one I found this with so far here in Elden Ring. This is the only NPC that's been like this, but... I don't know, bro. I'm really worried. I'm really worried that that's where we have to go. Uh... It doesn't have a lot of HP, that's the thing, but the fact that it also homes in on you is a little bit crazy. You see, like, he's gonna shoot. I'm hoping he's gonna shoot. Maybe the solution is just get him to come to us. If there, this turns out to be not the way and I wasted, like, fucking eight minutes already, uh, eight minutes in recording, not eight minutes in the episode. I'm gonna be very pissed. Eat shit, bitch! Yeah, it doesn't work so well so far up close, right? So far up close, I'm not even making any sense. Point downward for you, bitch. That wasn't even an NPC, like, proper. Uh, well, I mean, I got my revenge. That was satisfactory, at least. Holy shit. Azure's Glintstone Staff. Oh, it's just the staff? Shit, and I'm betting you this is, like, extremely high int as well. It looks like something that's very high int. Are you kidding me? 52... Staff of the primeval glimstone sorcerer Zor. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reduces casting time of all sorceries but consumes additional FP. Shit that doesn't even seem that good. Like... Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, the casting time is probably good. And I'm guessing the sort of idea is that by the time you get to having 52... What, what was it? 52 intelligence? It doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, but yeah. Cool, we have that. The only issue now, and I'm genuinely, like, a little bit lost. Oh, do you just drop? Listen, if this kills me, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pissed. This looks like it would kill me. Like, seriously. Okay, 
So I kind of fell by accident, but still survived. Wait, is this... Are we back at the start? This is either identical to the start, or we're actually back at the start. I think we might be. Um, really gotta stop playing with fire here. In terms of... I think we might be back at the start, right? Need to take a look, because everything kind of looks the same here. Actually, maybe not. Well, my sense of navigation, excellent as always, as you guys know. Uh, no, 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 this is definitely, definitely the start. Cool. But then I can safely warp back. See, now my, my question is... Can you platform over there? Yeah, you can. Okay. Shit. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> the way he fell, he just kind of... He just kind of went... He accepted his fate. Shit, I and I, I have like 20k souls now, so I really gotta stop fucking around here. Uh, let me just pick them up and come back here and level up. Please don't be on the other side. Ah, oh, it's on the other side. Okay, actually, this is really bad because I just realized we can't actually... Come on. Can't actually make it back. Oh, God. The thing that is like... Oh, yeah, it teleports back. The thing that is a little bit weird about this game, uh, the jumping, is how you interact with, like, ledges fucking homes in on you too yeah the way you interact with ledges is a little bit weird the question is can I stay yes you can cool game thanks I'm gonna lose them souls aren't I The thing is though, I'm a little bit honest with you, uh, I'm a little bit unsure of how you're supposed to get through this. Oh, okay, so you can dodge roll it. Please, please let there be a checkpoint here. Ooh, maybe. Please teleport me to, to a checkpoint. like. Elden Ring, Miyazaki, I'm begging you. Even if it's just going to the open world. Oh yeah, I'm stupid. I always forget you can just use the world map to warp anywhere. Oh, where the shit are we? Church of Wow. Oh, is this the tur This is the turtle part. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And there is a side of grace here. So, we're Gucci. There it is. Okay, what should we level up? We have one point. Let's get to Vitality. Uh, yeah, yeah, Vitality is gonna be pretty important. Oh, another thing, I probably should do this. People have told me that I missed an event uh, in here, the third church of Marika. Apparently there's like some lore shit that happens here, so I'm just gonna go back and quickly cover this. Um, because I didn't rest at this grace, I just hit it. Yeah, but, okay, cool. Alright, Melinia, what do you have to say? Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? And go ahead. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace with thine eyes dim ye will be driven
driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Cool. Um, I got you. So Marika sent someone away uh, outside of the lands between to fight. And again, like as I mentioned this before, from my impression, sort of the pre-release stuff, this lands between world is sort of like, I don't know, like a connection or like between all the other worlds and the earth tree is uh, Kind of like, I don't know, the world tree from, like, Norse mythology. Okay, cool, we're back. Uh, actually, I don't think there's a way to warp back from, like, that place. You gotta, uh, you know, walk back throughout the castle. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, fuck, are you serious? Okay, lesson learned. Uh, be a little bit more prepared for this guy. It looks like he has the spell parry ability too on that shield. So we gotta be like... Re oh, fucking hell. He's just parrying. Parry this bitch. I said parry this bitch. Okay, he kind of parried it. Oh, this is fun, right? This is fun. He just parries you and one-shots you. Cool. Okay. I'm pulling out all the punches against this guy. Uh, I guess you gotta fight him like a real, actual, proper NPC. Or like, player character, I should say. When I try parry, of course it doesn't work. Oh yeah, it does. And that didn't deal nearly as much damage as I was hoping. Well, that shield... Did you see how that shield stopped my shit? Please tell me you have no fucking like... Oh, of course you have Estus. You have a lot of HP. Oh yeah, bitch. Okay. See, when I say that Bloodborne had bullshit NPCs, one of the reasons was that fucking Bloodborne NPCs had unlimited heals. At least here they give them one flask and that's it. This guy was a bitch. He sucked. Carry a night shield. Yeah, I bet it has spell parry. Which can be useful, like... Although it's never as uh, good as... Like, NPCs make it out to be. What the hell? Do these guys tend to the wheat garden or something? We're getting to the point where a checkpoint would be, like... More than nice. It would be in the category... Oh! A shortcut. Nice. So technically we do have a checkpoint. Or, well, yeah, yeah, we do. We do. Because the bonfire here is extremely close. And we don't have to deal with a Decarian Knight anymore. That's a win-win in my book. Up or down? Up. It does feel like we're getting towards the boss, doesn't it? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it does. This to me sort of kind of screams boss arena. Uh, oh yeah, th this is this is this is a boss arena. <laughs> like, I listen. I've 
been around the block with FromSoft games. I know a boss arena when I see one, and I know that I'm gonna warp back, see if I can level up. Yes, I can. Let's go for Dex, Endurance, Dex, I think Dex. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna check if there is no Sight of Grace here. This run back does have some issues because those annoying sorcerers. What if this is a boss? Like, I'm only like nine. Yeah, it's a boss. I was gonna say I'm only like 99% sure, but I, now I'm 100% sure. Welcome to Hogwarts. What the hell? Oh shit. Go back to Neo. That is such a Neo enemy. Oh fuck. It's the fool's idol. Is this what's her name? The lady who's like ruling this place? Oh, yeah, it is Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Oh, is this one of those boss fights? It is. We have, uh, what you call it? Yeah, this is, this is like Fool's Idol and what are the dudes called in Dark Souls 3? The ones that suck in the Cathedral of the Deep. Deacons of the Deep. Yeah, this is Deacons of the Deep. All right, get down here. I know how to do this shit. I have stamina recovery. I probably... she's... yeah, I was gonna say she's gonna explode. Okay, well... She's gonna have some horrible second phase. I can... Whoa! What the hell? She's gonna have some horrible second phase, I can already tell, because... I am 100% sure this isn't it. Like... Like, th this is not it. I know. If it is, oh, can you? Do I? Do you have time to buff? Oh, you totally do. I'm just slow. She probably wasn't gonna take. She probably ain't gonna take much damage from magic stuff. All right, second phase. What's it gonna be? Because this is easy as hell. This is like the most first phase of any boss ever. <laughs> the game is loading the second phase. Yeah. It's gonna be something big. I kind of feel bad for her. She doesn't seem... My beloved. Didn't she, like, get screwed over by Radagon? I will hold thee. Patience. You will Uh oh. Yeah, okay. Was she keeping some horrible, like, Bloodborne entity? Contained? I think so. We're in trouble. It's gonna be Manus. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich limber shall not be disturbed by thee. Oh shit. Is this the true version? should use my spirit ashes too. I don't even have one equipped. I know I'm talking throughout the cutscene, but... Of the last queen of Karia, of the full moon. Cool! <laughs> Rom! This, this game is just stealing. Like, they're stealing from themselves. Oh, shit. She's gonna, like... Okay, it's still her. So it's not some, like, big monster. Oh, fuck.
Yeah, she's done. She done. Whoa. Okay. It's gonna explode. I don't have a thing explode. Okay, give me this. Time to flask up. Thank fuck for that. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, okay, so she's the take a lot of damage, deal a lot of damage type. I can already tell. Fuck. Okay. That wasn't so bad, actually. Uh, we need... Who do we need? Skeletal Militiaman. I, which one do I have? I have the wolf. The wolf is the one that I have most like leveled up. So let's use the wolf. Give this one more try. Okay, so this first phase is like mad simple. Uh, which is good because her second phase kind of seems annoying. So... I guess it like balances out in the end. Like these like Neo students ain't doing shit. I'm st I'm talking about Neo because you guys remember that like a vampire from Neo. She's kind of like like they're kind of like that. Is this the best? Yes. Okay. Cool. Get away. All right. I think if I can get her in two reps, which I definitely can. It's gonna make things very smooth. What the hell was that? Did you just drop the chandelier? Drop the disco ball? Uh, oh, fuck. The oh, there's a lot. Okay. I totally didn't see that there's like a lot of them here in the corners as well. Luckily, you can get back just in time. Am I going to be able to kill her? Cool. Alright. Wolves. <laughs> Did you see that book? Okay. So she's going to... She does that. Come on. I don't know what the hell that does. I try not to find out. Oh, it's just a big explosion. I don't get hit by that. Oh, the wolves are totally fucking... She has no poise. <gasps> okay. What? <sighs> Iframes. Yes. Wolves, come on! Fuck her up! Fuck her up! No, 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 no! no. <laughs> I'm on the wrong thing. She's very easy. Come on, wolves! Is she dead? She's not dead. She's dead. That was very easy. <laughs> okay. Thanks, wolves. I salute you. See, I, know, I knew doggos are the best. That was insanely easy. Great rune of the unborn. Oh yeah, because she doesn't actually have a great rune, does she? She was just gifted one. That was very, very, very easy. <laughs> Holy shit. I got the second great boss. Or whatever they're called. Yeah. Um, this game is too easy. Okay. Uh, let's read the remembrance. Remembrance of Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, the power of its namesake, yeah, cool. In her youth, Renala was a prominent champion who charmed the academy with her lunar magic, becoming its master. She also led the Glinstone Knights and established the House of Caria as royalty. And she's not dead. Everyone has like Shakespeare syndrome in this game, I swear to you. 
I'm glad I'm kind of glad she's not dead because I like her Larval tier is required for. Oh, cool! So you can. Oh, that's very good. This is where. This is where you respec. Nice. Well, that is very, very useful actually. Fuck. Okay. No treasure for me. Um, that that is very good. I was gonna say. I wonder if there is a way to respec in this game. And it looks like there is, which again is great. Is absolutely great. Uh, that's three levels, so we're gonna get two points here. One into Dex, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm betting you her soul makes like. Let's let's have some predictions. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm thinking some crazy ass sorcery. And probably oh, some crazy ass sorcery and probably a staff. Yeah, that that's my prediction. Uh, still, yeah, cool. What does a great rune do? Oh yeah, I need to activate it. Still, yeah, we got the second sort of big boss. Uh, we'll go back to the roundtable hold in the next episode to see what happens in terms of the story. For now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring, as always, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.